Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to share with you this gorgeous wig. Now, this wig is called Elusive. Elusive. And you're certainly not elusive in this wig. And this wig is by Natural Image and it's the colour Chocolate Copper Mist. Now, in the last couple of videos, I've been reviewing another wig by Natural Image called Audacious. And I actually went out in that gorgeous wig yesterday in Pecan Mist. I love that colour too. But this colour, this gorgeous chocolate copper mist, is just something special. I really love it and I love this little bob style with all this curl. I'm a curly girl anyway, so anything with curl I go a bit nuts for. And I just really, really love this one. And I'm really excited to share it with you. And in the next video... I'm actually going to be comparing it with one of Godiva's secret wigs because I realised this morning when I was putting it on, it reminded me so much of one of their wigs. So I'm going to be talking about that in the next video. So if you're curious and wondering which one, check that out. But this is all about Elusive. So the colour of Elusive is Chocolate Copper Mist, but it's also got a number which is G6-30. And I spoke about this colour in the Audacious wig. I've got it in that one too. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I do love, you know, these natural image wigs. They're very comfortable to wear. You know, I love that the machine tees, so they're very, you know, fitting to your head. You get the height as well as the volume, as well as all this defined curl and style. And they feel comfortable to wear. And for me... That's the real benefit and the real pro of a machine tees wig. Monofilament wigs, yes, they're very comfortable, but because they're flatter and, you know, in a way they feel more realistic because they're closer to your head, you know, they don't give you the same comf comfort. And when I say comfort, they're very comfortable, don't get me wrong. But I mean, when you have a machine teased wig on, there's something very warm about it. You know, it's like wearing a cosy pair of slippers or going out in the cold weather and having your lovely warm coat on and your hat and gloves. You just feel nice. And that's what machine teased wigs make me personally feel like. So I always feel nice in a mono wig, but, you know, I always feel much more kind of comforted by a machine teased wig. So let me know in the comments if you have that same kind of experience with feeling that comfort, that sense of warmth with a machine teased wig over a mono wig. But they're both amazing. Now, this wig is gorgeous. So this is how she comes. Now, I would not want to mess with this curl. You know, I would not want to brush this out and make it straight because this is meant to be a curly style. But what you can do is boof it up and have it very, very you know, curly, and you know, this reminds me a lot of my own natural hair, because my own natural hair is naturally curly, I mean, even now it's growing back, and it's already got that kind of defined curl coming back into it, very fly away, and the thing I love about a wig is, you haven't got to spend ages using a diffuser, or using mousse, or, you know, scrunching it dry, or waiting for it to drip dry, you know, naturally dry, you haven't got to put rollers in or anything like that. So I actually really like it with a bit more volume, you know, because I'm used to having big curly hair. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, if you're not used to having big curly hair, you can flatten the whole thing down. But before I do, let me just show you this colour and this gorgeous style. So look at this. Look at this. So for me, it's about the curl. It's the curl for me that makes this wig, the comfort of it, the way the ear tabs are very fitting and nice and, you know, oh, it just feels nice. So, you know, natural image wigs for me right now, which I'm quite new to, you know, which are also a cheaper high-end wig. There's still a high-end wig, but a cheaper version. You know, it's just a great option if you want... A good wig, something that looks realistic, something that feels nice and is comfortable, but maybe you don't want to pay the price tag of a Godiva secret wig or a Raquel Welsh wig. This is just a great alternative. And that's right why in the next video, I really want to tell you about the wig that I feel this reminds me of. 
from Godiva's Secret Wigs. We're not going to spoil it just yet. I want to talk about this wig because, you know, this wig deserves all the attention. So look at the routine there as well. Look at the gorgeous colour. So I'm going to do a little turn like this. Because there's no lace front, you know, look how, I mean, just how gorgeous it is. This is the thing. It looks like a lace front wig, even though it isn't. So this just proves that you don't need to always have a lace front wig to get that natural looking effect. You know, I just love these ones anyway, especially, you know, for me with this particular colour, because my own natural hair is the same kind of colour. So it gives it the illusion of it being my own hair. I mean, you know, if you're blonde and you had this in a blonde, it would be the same thing. So I just like it like this. If I was going to go out in this wig right now, this is how I would wear it. So I am going to flatten it down and show you and do a few more things with these. But this is definitely how I would and will wear this wig, okay? So look at the gorgeous side and the volume. The defined curl at the back. Gorgeous. And from this side, isn't it a stunning? I really want this in a red as well because, you know, this gorgeous chocolate copper mist, it's a gorgeous chocolate brown. You know, it's a kind of a medium-y chocolate brown, but it's got that hint of, you know, shine to it that the redness gives, which is the copper effect. So it's not a red wig by any means. It is a chocolate kind of brown wig, but it's got that gorgeous kind of richness that comes with the copper effect of this mist in the colour. So it's very, very beautiful. So say if you don't want all this height and volume, you know, I'm like, why wouldn't you not want it? I just love it like this. But, you know, all you have to do is start patting it down. See how straight away it's flattening? It's flattening, okay? So you can have it much flatter, just like that. So again, it's still got that gorgeous volume and curl, but it's just a little bit less volumey. You know, so it's a bit more of a natural look than a, you know, kind of back comb look. Gorgeous. Other things you could do, you could put it behind your ears easily. Okay, easily put it behind your ears and maybe wear it like that. A little cute style. You know, you could put clips in this if you wanted to dress it up with a flower clip. Or, you know, you could leave the side out. You could put it all back. There are things you can do with this wick. But for me, it has to be about the volume and the height. I just love it. Love it. And, you know, when you wash this wig, all you'd need to do is use... I mean, I've done videos on how to wash a wig very well, you know, without damaging the wig. I don't mean I've done the, the video very well. I mean how to wash it in very well, you know, so you don't damage anything. You just massage the shampoo conditioner through... And then you let it drip dry, you know, when you've rinsed all of that out, just let it drip dry in the shower upside down and it will, you know, dry and kind of be just like this. So you wouldn't need to brush it through or, you know, I definitely wouldn't brush this wig through. But, you know, if you want to, that's fine. Maybe you love the style of the wig, the cut of the wig, the shape of the wig, but you don't want the curling. I suppose you could easily, you know, brush all the curl out and then maybe use heat on it. Not sure if these wigs are heat resistant, you know, maybe give that a Google. Because I bought this wig from Selfridges in London, I didn't order it online. I went into the hot air concession stands at Selfridges and got this wig at the same time I bought the Audacious wig. And, you know, unlucky for me, I suppose, but, you know, lucky in one way, I didn't spend lots more money. But they only had this colour in stock in there when i when i was there so if this had been in a red as well maybe a blonde i may have indulged and had those colors too but i have checked this one out online and i have found it online as well and i am super tempted to get this in a red because it's just stunning stunning and i'm all about the, the curl and you know this is very natural for me anyway so you know if i went and saw you know, some of my family in this wig, they, they probably think it is my real hair because my own hair has been like this over the years. You know, when I've had it short, I've had it like exactly like this. So this is very, very natural, very natural style for me. And I can totally recommend it feels good. So we're going to take her off and look at it together. So just to recap, this wig is from Natural Image. 
The colour I'm wearing is called Chocolate Copper Mist and it's G6 slash 30 and the wig make and style is called Elusive. So, you know, it's natural image, the makers of the wig and the wig, you know, the wig make what it is, is called Elusive. Very beautiful. Now, I've just sewn two wig clips into this wig, so I'm just going to take them out, take them off, should I say. So look at the gorgeous colour, the gorgeous curl absolutely beautiful wig gorgeous can't fault this wig this gets a 10 out of 10 from me especially because of how comfortable it is if i turn it inside out and you can look at the cap this is as far as i'm aware an average size cap which is what i am and it's very comfortable to wear as i said it feels like you're wearing a cozy pair of slippers or you know just really really nice to wear you've got all the breathable wefting at the back and the label as well and then you've got this gorgeous breathable kind of cap at the front as well, you know, which it, it kind of frees all your hair up too. The thing I love about the breathability of this one is not only is it lightweight, you know, you pick it up with your finger, it's very lightweight, but it feels comfortable to wear because, you know, your hair and your head is breathing underneath the wig. And I've just sewn two wig clips in there at the front. That's all it needs. You know, this little bit that goes against the hairline as well in the top of your head so it doesn't break off your hair or damage your hair is very smooth and soft and in a way velvety and it feels nice and like I said even though it isn't a, um, a lace front you can still see how natural you know the front of the wig is so very beautiful I also love the rooting of this you know obviously it's not a rooted wig it is all one colour even though it's got this these gorgeous rich tones through it they give you that hint of copper mist there but it's very natural looking on the party. So in my opinion, this is a very natural wig for me. And it's a very natural wig anyway. So I'm just going to pop her back on. So when I pop a wig on, you know, my own hair right now is growing back. But I just make sure it's all, you know, back. So, you know, in the morning, if I don't want to wash my hair, all I do is I don't want to dump my hair under the shower. So I just get some water in my hands in the shower. And I just do that. That's all I do. And then I get out of the shower and I just get the hair dryer and just blast it. So you don't even have to dry it, but just blast it back so it's out of my face. So it's not going to show under the wig. So I get my thumbs at the back of the wig where the label is. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there. And then I'm going to get the ear tabs, line them up and pull it to my hairline. Very, very quick process. Just like this. So it's straight now. Pull it up to my hairline. And I'm just going to check that in the mirror because, you know, on camera and in the mirror can be two different things. So I've got it exactly where I want it there. I'm going to clip it in. Remember, I've sewn them in, but you don't need to do that. You can wear a wig grip band or a wig cap or whatever works for you. And look at that. I haven't even had to do anything to her. And she is ready to go. A Lucy, gorgeous, gorgeous wig. Honestly, I've got so much time for this wig and this company natural image because you know i think this wig yeah it was 120 uk pounds like the audacious wig but that was because i went into the shop and bought it it may be cheaper online i think i've seen them at 106 pounds online i think but don't quote me on that but you know at the time of recording this video but you know gorgeous so i am very very tempted to get this in a red or maybe even a champagne blonde i know you guys will want to see me in that and I'm excited to wear something like that too. And for the price, you know, you can get two wigs for the price of one you'd pay from Godiva Secret Wigs, even though Godiva Secret Wigs are my go-to company. And as I said in the next video, I'm going to compare this one with one of their wigs. I bet you already know what it is for you avid wig wearers. But yeah, I'm quite surprised and blown away how these wigs are kind of mirroring their wigs a little bit. So you know, we've got an alternative to Freedom Wig with Audacious and now we're going to have another alternative, but that'll be in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of this gorgeous wig, Elusive, in the comment section. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.